I can't believe I'm here after the Untamed. Okay. There was a part of me for a second that wasn't sure if I was watching the right show. Because <laughs> I, I would make that mistake. I haven't yet, but I feel like I would, up, I would be that person. Hold on, I need to start. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm slow. I need to start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you lost me. <laughs> it's gonna be information overload, and my brain was not ready. When the evil Rong Shuan was killed in Mao Qingya. By the Five Lakes Alliance and other heroes. Okay, I need to go piece by piece with this. An armory that could let someone become invincible overnight. Oh, interesting. In order to open the armory, one must find the glazed armor. See why it's important to break this down? Do you see? Do you see? After the Untamed? I feel like I should be ready for this. Many forces began to secretly search for the glazed armor in order to control the armory. Prince Jin in the north is also starting to make his move. Good for you, Prince Jin. Love that. MGM, let's go. By the way, if you're playing a drinking game while watching me, um, drink every time I mention the Untamed. You're gonna be hoisted. It's one guy. Huh? Oh no, your decorations. Just kidding. <laughs> it was a Trojan lantern. The assassins from the window of heaven are here. Oh no. Bruh, it's because you write so slow. Hi? What I wanna know? Oh, it's Meng Yao! I don't know his name yet, so I'm just gonna call him Meng Yao for now, which might confuse me later on. We're gonna take that risk. I love sword fights on roofs. This is the guy, huh? He's the protagonist, this one. The guy with the leg up. <laughs> Zhou Zishu. Leader of the Window of Heaven. Oh, well, I mean, he's off. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, that sound effect caught me off guard. But sorry, that just caught me off guard. I'm I'm back in. I'm back in now. I didn't I didn't expect that sound effect. I got it now. I didn't think that I'd be hearing a cash register ding while someone's eyes shifted from one direction to the other today. But I guess that's just a, a Tuesday. Are you done spinning? Your officer is in trouble. That was quick. Oh no, his diary. Oh no, the daughter. I got news for you, woman. Excuse me? This is a woman's boudoir? I guess the people from- what are they called? <laughs> I've already forgot. They did not go through sensitivity training. Every single one of them just didn't attend the seminar. Die here or die later? Either die in here, like I kill you or you kill yourself. Oh, she did a thing for him. Okay, okay. I talk too much. <laughs> that poison? Yeah. What is this? They knew each other? She brought back his body for him to be buried? Um, hello? If this is the window of heaven, who the fuck is that? Oh, he's the uncle. Okay, 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 okay. Former what? Former member of Four Seasons Manor. Entry without exit. That's the K-pop fandom. Bang Chan, I love you. Okay. Sending someone off is such a polite way of saying that I'm gonna kill you. Whatever. <laughs> Famous last words. What? Isn't there a more humane way to do it? What is this? That's so painful! Do, do, 
到底啥是七窍三丘钉啊 ？Yeah, please explain to me too. 一旦受了这个钉刑，不但你的武功尽失，是口不能言、不能听、不能闻、不能看，就会变成一个活死人了。What a terrible way to go. 把天朝的秘密泄露出去。<laughs> They're just going through the A's, the B's, and the C's of the nails of the seven torments. Meanwhile, Uncle B is fucking screaming in the background, going through this entire thing. <laughs> and then these two are still going off about it matter of factly, as if the person that they've known for years that lives with them is a higher up of them, and that they've known for years in, in the window of heaven isn't dying. And about to go into a vegetative state as they speak. It's very casual. We enjoy. Anyway, what do you want for lunch? Well, that's the thing, though. I don't think they're going to let you die. Yeah, I don't think they're going to let He's busy killing his uncle. Hmm. We just met. I don't know if I could see you like this, Yishu. What? Wait, so many numbers he just mentioned. That will last for three years and another 18 months. Okay, wait. Let me see if I understand this. Okay, I'm trying to see if I get this correctly. So he's also been trying to leave the window of heaven. But instead of doing the traditional, you know, because we love traditions, the traditional Nails of Seven Torments, the way that he did it for his uncle, which is all at the same time, he's been trying to find a way to leave and still retain the, the tradition of digging the nails in to his body as he should, being a part of the window of heaven, especially being the leader of it, so that he can get out. Is the goal to survive the, the nails of seven torments? So that he can make it out of the window of heaven and still have some of him? And not lose all of himself as he leaves. One nail every three months. So he's been doing this for a year and a half. He said. Yeah. In turn, slowly, it still disappears until death. He's not a weapon? He's a person? Yeah. He wants to leave. Oh, he's gonna show his wounds? Or something else? What is this? What kind of show is this? Oh, there it is. He is showing his wounds. I've started the process. Consider this my two weeks notice. Sorry, my three years notice. A coward, just like the rest of the jibs in other places. Like the untamed. Drink up. Messed up, got me looking like no face. Make it rain, leave a wet like a snowflake. What is happening? I'm sorry, give me space, you like no way. That's a red flag, bitch, no late. What? Messed up, got me looking like no face. Is he changing his face? I was trying to live as an ordinary man, I guess. But I'm also just like... Wait, what? what? And now he's back in his hometown and he bought a new face? Cause like, fuck plastic surgery, no one needs that when you have... Painting skills? I... I'm confused. Intrigued and confused. Imagine fighting a gaggle of men. <laughs> a gaggle of men. With dental floss. <laughs> What is this world? I'm all about it, though. Yeah, break his neck! <laughs> Chuyang? Three months later? Yep. This is lovely. What a town. Looks like um, Ayala, but back in the day. <laughs> Whoever has been a beggar for three years won't want to change his place, even with an emperor. Emperor smile? <gasps> Sus. What the fuck? Is this allowed? It's dirty. Sus! 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 Sus activities! Activities of the sus persuasion! 
<gasps> Zidian! I swear to god, if this episode ends abruptly... That whip has a mind of its own. Oh my god. And it's... Is this the end? It is the end. Um, I don't really have like a full impression of the show just yet. It's one episode and most of the 40 minutes was just talking about you know it was a lot of setting up so i don't think it's actually fully started yet but uh yeah that has been my episode one babbling reaction where i just talk about it and say things about the untamed i'm gonna go now but not without leaving you with some wise words don't judge a book by its cover you see a person on the street just enjoying the sunshine you can't just immediately assume that they're a beggar that person there could just be a taken out leader of the window of heaven and you would never know that if you're too busy trying to kill them doesn't that guy look like top in honor of that i would like for uh <laughs> big bang to play me out because i'm worthy of that uh so we'll see you next time bang bang, bang. <laughs>